Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Four years ago, the Indian Air Force conducted a mission which was never undertaken before. The objective was to avenge the Pulwama attack and deliver message to the perpetrators of terrorism that India will not tolerate any such activity on its soil and will go to any extent in order to defend it. 12 days after the Pulwama attack, on 26 February 2019, the Indian Air Force executed an operation codenamed Operation Bandar. The name of operation was inspired from the Hindu epic, the Ramayana, where Lord Hanuman entered Ravan's Lanka and wrecked Havok. The entire operation was carried out with utmost secrecy. On 26 February, around 3 am, the Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi was informed that a fleet of Indian Air Force fighter jets had taken off and was shortly expected to cross Pakistani territory. Twelve Mirages of Indian Air Force took off from multiple air bases, crossed over into Pakistani airspace. The Indian Air Force pilots dropped five Spice 2000 bombs at around 3.30 am, out of which four penetrated the rooftops of the building in which terrorists were sleeping. The attack was carried out at 3.30 am and within a few minutes after dropping the bombs on their targets, the Indian Air Force fighter jets returned to their bases safely. In a swift airstrike that lasted for less than two minutes, Indian Air Force pounded the biggest training camp in Balakot, killing up to 350 to 400 terrorists who were camped there for protection post the Pulwama attack. The Indian Air Force drafted a simple and brilliant plan to beat the Pakistani Air Force combat air patrol and air defense systems. The Indian Air Force Mirages were reportedly accompanied by four Su-30 MKIs to provide air cover, Israeli Falcon Airborne Warning and Control System and indigenous Netra AWNC along with two Ilushin IL-76 tankers for mid-air refueling. The Indian Air Force Mirage 2000 fighter jets were fitted with Israeli-made Spice 2000 bomb and fed in the geo-coordinates of jaish e mohammed terror camp at Balakot, Pakistan. To fool the Pakistan Air Defense Combat Patrol, these aircraft took off from Agra and Bareilly bases. Since they had to overfly Delhi, the Air Force alerted traffic control to create a dark corridor of airspace and they could fly through them undetected. As the Indian Air Force aircrafts approached Pakistan airspace, they flew in formation with one lot seemingly headed to Bahawalpur. Pakistan Air Force took the bet. They scrambled the fighter jets, assuming that Indian Air Force intend to strike the JAS headquarters in Bahawalpur. The distraction allowed the accompanying low-flying formation of Mirage 2000 to head in the direction of Balakot and remain undetected from Pakistan Air Force. By the time Indian Air Force Mirages showed up on the Pakistan Air Force radar, they were 150 kilometers away from the fighter jets that had been scrambled to stop earlier. By this time, it was too late. The Indian Air Force Mirages had acquired the targets in the camps and dropped the spice bombs they were carrying. Five bombs struck the targets, three hitting the large complex housing 150 recruits, one the main U-shaped complex that had most of the leadership and the fifth building that had the master trainers. One target they could not strike was abandoned school where Yusuf Azhar resided. That's because the aircraft chosen to strike was unable to lock onto target to release the bomb in the tight window of opportunity. All the aircraft returned safely to the bases that night. India has used its air force to avenge the Pulwama attack by crossing the LOC, Pakistan occupied Kashmir and international border, defeating Pakistan air defense system and air force and came back safely. This was the first time since the Indo-Pak War of 1971 that an Indian aircraft carried out such an airstrike across the border. The incident has set a new norm, bursting the bubble of Pakistan's nuclear threat and delivering the message of what India is capable of doing. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind.
will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.